double batch of coffee, for our crew has doubled today. Good morning. Welcome to the world. It's a little foggy. What's the game plan, Captain? Um, we're either gonna go tie his skiff up at the public dock where he keeps it. And then we're just gonna do a quick drive-by so he can hop on board. Then turn around and head out to the pea soup. <laughs> The goal is to go to Port St. Louis today. Go sail to Avila. We're supposed to be getting some good wind in maybe like an hour or two. So we're really hoping that we can sail pretty much the whole way there. It's only about 20 nautical miles, so we can take all day if we feel like it. Perfect. You're coming too. Join us as we grow from a building channel to a sailing channel. One day we'll be floating in the tropics and I'll be drinking a margarita. Our heading is set south and our home-built boat is getting us there. Can't wait to show you guys. We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for watching. We say farewell to our home port and set our heading a little further south. Jetty. Yeah, you can hardly make out the breakwater. <laughs> oh man. This wasn't the sail we promised you. <laughs> First little bit of ocean swell. Reed cued the inspirational music as we left the harbor in search of wind and sunshine. I couldn't wipe my lenses fast enough. The fog was so dense. The entire deck was wet. The seas were sloppy, but we were determined to make Port Slow in full sail. Port San Luis is right around the corner from Morro Bay with its own microclimate, which tends to be warm and sunny which is exactly what we're seeking. How's our heading for the coastline? I think this is pretty good. We could go more at a diagonal to it. The, the bow of the boat is going to be going away from the wind. Okay. Weather how the bow of the boat is getting pulled up into the wind. It's just maybe a little bit more money to go up into the wind. Weather how? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not so, like it's tough or anything so like that, that, but if you want to let go for a little too long, then she rounds up. Over trim the staysail a little bit. Tell me what that is. It's try. 
in, it's coming. There it is. Are we in Baja yet? <laughs> settled all of us into a rhythm. The hum of the motor, the roll of the waves. So much happier to be on deck with you. Yeah. <laughs> then finally, the wind showed up and the motor got to rest. Never had her out downwind in a big, in a weird, confused, sloppy sea like this. And th these conditions are never comfortable in any boat. But yeah. like, I'd say she's still handling it pretty well. Doesn't Let's ask the crew. Handling okay? Good. 100%. Ooh. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> we had that big southern swell that just rolled through here making everything super like confused and and steep it's like it's ramping up the prevailing swell because it's going against it and also making it kind of like you know all choppy and funky so the boat's all over the place yeah and because i'm sure people want to know like why is the boat rolling around so much yeah it's because it's uh it's not a normal sea state we had a very abnormal very large opposing uh southerly swell that just rolled through Oh, bloody hell! Oh! Rolling off the starboard bow! Got a whale to go. Mama Susie found her spot. I got my spot. Best spot on the boat. <laughs> Wind's finally blowing out of the direction the forecast said it was going to. Yeah. And nearly at the speed it said it was going to. Yeah. Gus was 13, so we're doing in between five and seven knots. Been on like five five as our low, and then probably upper sixes for our, you know, that range for our average. Of course those spikes. Now 
one good wave. Seven's a lot. Well done, Mike, in creating these sails. They are doing fantastic. Our first decent sail with all four sails up and full. Leaving our home port feels like the first chapter of a new volume. Any doubt left me when a sign landed on board. The dove is a major character in symbology, but personally, a dove represents something unique for both of us. For Garrett, it's profound because the book that inspired this life was called Dove, a story about freedom, love, and sailing. For me, my first tattoo is a dove, and I call it my leaving the nest tattoo. It's when I moved out of my parents and in with Garrett to start this life at sea. How's the view? We have now been together longer than we've been apart, and here we are, leaving our home port on our home-built boat together. We can see land. Yeah. I feel like we just passed that buoy and it's so far behind us. Ass. We are, we're yeah. flying. Ass pulled. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We've already offered up our sacrifice to Poseidon. Yeah. I hope he was in need of a boat hook. As we passed the breakwater, everything flattened, and the warmth from the beach reached out. Oh, it's good now, huh?
crazy boys. All right, let's do it. One, two, two three, six. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh so good. Best way to, uh, to end the sail. We made it. <laughs> so Remember how cold and foggy it was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get <laughs> cannonballs off the bow screen. Hell yeah. yeah. Look at that. I will claim to have you now. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier, Earlier you were so sure. sure. I claim it in, but now I'm like, yeah. All right. Get in there. Sometimes I think pulling the camera out is like a surefire way that they just disappear. Yeah. Just like Sasquatch. Yeah. I'm not your content. Yeah. Okay? I don't even see a whale, I just see content. Oh. Tuck it to this side, make a little hole. There it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> make that bell then. <laughs> you belly did. Yes. You really need it. Is that it? Nope, not it yet. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> she she bailed. She's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> True multitasker here. <laughs> so good. 